guys what's up it's naomi the crafty savage and i'm back for this week's whipping chat if you're new to diamond painting whip stands for work in progress not psh, you're gonna whip somebody we're diamond painting people we're diamond painting chat is i'm just gonna run my mouth and tell you all about what happened to me this last week uh, just some of the things I'll be using. I'll be using my, no, nope, that ain't it. My Muni Made tray. I have my Chroma Diamond art pen. Got some glue dots. Some putty, because I am a putty girl. I have this one you can see from Oh Snap Crafters Cafe. It is a scented cover minder that just pops right off and you can just change it out. I have eggnog in that. Where'd you go? Over here, as you can't see, here is another Oh Snap Crackers Cafe. Um, it pops right out. You can change them, all that good stuff. And then over here, again, another Oh Snap Crackers Cafe. The little snap. This one, probably, I need my little guitar pick uh, to pop it out. But we have the Golden Girls. I don't know if you can see that. I gotta love them. Alrighty, so I think I've... Where are you at? Um, I also have my Diamond Art Club tweezers just to pull up my release papers. So, let's see. Where shall we start off? How rude of me. There I go again. See, you guys got to remind me. You got to be like that in the comments. Be like, hey, yo, don't don't be rude. You forgot to ask how we were doing. My bad, my bad, my bad. Thank God my mama lives in another state and she can't smack me upside my head and tell me to mind my manners or ask me where my manners went. Because I will tell her, um, I think they're running down the road. Like, they just left and forgot to tell me, right? All right, so again, I apologize for my rudeness and my manners. Why is this not? Y'all, oh, my light pad. It ain't working. This is not good. I said turn on. Y'all, no, for real. Is it like unplugged? That would be why it would help if you plug the dang thing in, Naomi. Like, I'm over here... You can't see it, but I'm over here trying to hit the button. I'm playing with the cord. It would help if it was actually plugged into the socket, ding dong. So, you know, with just that little thing, you can probably guess how my week has been going. It's been going great. Wonderful. Not, 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 not. I have had better weeks. I have had horrible weeks, but... You know, this week is kind of, I guess, somewhere in between. So let's start off here. Let's see. So where did we leave off? We left off last Wednesday, because I always record my whipping chats on Wednesday, and you guys see them on Thursday. So let's see. What happened last week? So... A lot of stuff happened last week. So last Thursday, I got up. You know, I do my thing in the morning. I turn on my computer, wait for it to, you know, to connect to the server. And well, it's already connected to the server, but it just, it takes a little bit longer for everything to like, it's not like I turn the computer on and boom, you know, it's the program that I need is up and running. It takes a couple minutes because I remote into a server in Pennsylvania. But yeah, so I, I got up on Thursday morning, you know, I do my thing. I take the dog out. And like I said, usually before I take him out, I quickly, you know, turn on the computer and type in my passwords and all that for the different programs that I need and then by the time you know he's done doing his business outside when I come in everything is like up and 
ready for me to sit my behind down and get to work. So Thursday, you know, was like my, well, it wasn't like my normal work Thursday because I took off on Friday. So I was just trying to, you know, basically get Thursday stuff done and the stuff you know, that I would do on Friday, get that done. I wound up working late on Thursday night, just trying to get proposals out and all that different stuff. So I didn't have to deal with it on Friday. I mean, my, my boss is cool where, you know, he would just tell a builder like, hey, my girl's out of the office today. Can I get it to you Monday type of thing? Like he's really cool like that, but I just, you know, I try to do what I can and that's what I did. But usually on Fridays, I go and I deposit the one subcontractor's check because he lives in like Clearwater and that is about oh, like two and a half, maybe three hours, like depending on traffic, what time of day, one way away from me so he banks with the same bank that you know the business uses so he just gave me his account number and I just go and deposit his checks on Friday well obviously if I'm not going into work on Friday mm, I mean don't get me wrong I, I love the subcontractors if it wasn't for them you know that they're, they're they're the ones that really get the job done, so to speak, so I can be get paid. So yeah, you know, but I'm not, I'm not running out of my way to go deposit your check, no. So I did that, so I asked my boss, I was like, you know what, what am I gonna do with so-and-so's check? Should I just give it to whoever picks the checks up today and just have him, you know, deposit it himself? Or should I just, you know, deposit it today. My boss was like, yeah, just, you know, pause it, De pause it. What the hell is pause it? I don't, I pause it, pause it, I deposit it. Get your words together, Naomi. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. Uh, you know, just deposit it a day early. And I'm like, okay, you know, that's, that's fine. No biggie. So I go and I run to the bank and the bank that's like, there's a bank that's actually like right around the corner from my house. But it is a royal pain in the butt to get to because, so it's like, what is it? One, two, three, and then like the turning lane. So four lanes over this way. Then there's like a divider like a cement divider, but you have like your turning lane that you got to go across another three lanes of traffic heading in the opposite direction and you have to cut across. It's, it's not fun. So, and it's basically, it's in the same parking lot as the dentist I go to. And that's how I found out where it was. No, thank you. I will, you know, drive 10 minutes down the road because it's just, my anxiety trying to get across the road is like, I hate it. Like, I hate it. I will drive further away not to, like, make a turn or try to shoot across three lanes of traffic. Like, it just, whoo, it's, it's not good. So, I mean, I, I do it for the dentist because I have, you know, that's, that's where my dentist is and... I've just gotten like smarter about it and I just try to make my dentist appointments um, during times where there's not as much traffic. I mean, there's there's traffic because the snowbirds are here where if, the, if it wasn't snowbird season, going at like 11, 12, one, two, like I could easily shoot across that three lanes to get to the, you know, the road that I need to get to. Now, mm -mm. I mean, you might get lucky and be able to get across without sitting there for a while, but no, you usually sit there trying to make that like 
and it's not really even a turn it's like you go into like the turning lane but you're like this sitting there and the cars are coming this way and the road is over here so you've got to like and yeah it's it's not it's not fun but you know you you do what you got to do you put your big girl panties on and you just deal with it but i'm not i'm not going to the bank that way nope i will drive you know 10 minutes to the bank i normally go to and if for some reason the drive through is closed there you know i'll drive another it's like five ten minutes depending on how you hit the lights to the other wells fargo i don't i don't care i'm like as long as it's safer and i don't have to you know and get myself all worked up because I mean I don't know like it, I guess it's not so bad if there's nobody behind me but as soon as somebody gets behind me it doesn't matter if I've only been sitting there 30 seconds like I start worrying that like oh my gosh I'm gonna piss off the person behind me because I'm not going fast enough but anywho totally off the topic so I'm driving back and down here in Florida, like, there are a lot of stray cats. And what they do is, like, they'll come and capture them and they'll, like, spade them and neuter them and, like, clip their ear. And then they drop them back off at where they pick them up at or where they trap them at. Like, they just let them run. So... Now, I don't think this was a stray cat because it looked, you know, like it had some meat on it. Because there's also people that just let, you know, their cats outside just to run and play. And so I'm driving down the road and this, like, fat orange cat comes, like, whoom, running. And, I mean, I slammed on my brakes. And I just missed hitting this cat so I'm like oh my gosh and the only thing I could think of as this cat's like running out in front of me is like oh my god that looks like my mom's cat butch like yeah like it just I was like shaking going down the road like I didn't hit the cat but it just that I almost did that it just whoo so you know I'm, I'm driving down the road and it's not even like two minutes freaking later this like truck pulled like right out in front of me and again I had to slam on my freaking brakes I was like I just need to go home just park my car because between the animals and other people on the road like um I'm done I can't so yeah so I went home and I don't think I left um, you know, I didn't. My, uh, son, my youngest son, he wound up stopping by and I was walking him out to his car when he went to leave and I was like, oh, look, it's Lady. I'm like, that's Roscoe's girlfriend. And he's like, what? He's like, Roscoe has a girlfriend? Now, and he know he knows Roscoe. Like, he's been around Roscoe ever since I got him. I've had Roscoe for... When the hell did I get him? 2019? No. 18, 19, 20, 21. In August of this year, it'll be four years that I've had him. And, yep, nope, it doesn't matter how many times Roscoe has met you, unless you're my one best friend, Allison, that he just loves to pieces he will bark and growl and act like he's never met you a day before in your life like that's just how he rolls I guess you know he doesn't like people well, no it's not that he doesn't like people like he's never bitten anybody or gone after anybody but he just he barks and it's like I could tell him to shut up and he he don't he don't listen. You could put him upstairs in another room and he will just keep freaking barking. It drives me absolutely freaking crazy.
crazy because it's it's like dude you you know who this person is you've met them 50 million times but you know it's you know 50 million times plus 10 times more he's still gonna still gonna bark at you unless you are Allison and then like I said I, I don't know what it is about Allison but when I lived in Pennsylvania, like, she could walk in my house and he would not make a sound. He would go running up to her and, like, be all lovey-dovey. My other best friend, if she walked in, he would bark and bark and bark and he would eventually settle down. But, yeah, no, anybody else, you know, he's like, mm, nope, nope, get, get out of here. I don't know if he's afraid they're coming to like steal his toys where I'm like, boy, you have so many freaking toys that I could give half of them away and he still wouldn't know because he's just got that many freaking toys. Um, so yeah, my son met Lady. Um, you know what? I actually did. Um, I wound up running to the store um to like grab some like soft food and i wanted to say thank you to everybody that left suggestions you know down in the comment section last week it was very very helpful there were some things that i was like oh my gosh like i didn't even think of that like why didn't i think of that I also wanted to say thank you to everybody that, you know, reached out on Thursday, reached out on Friday and over the weekend in the last couple of days to see how I've been doing. I greatly, greatly appreciate it more than you know. Um, yeah, and then so I ran out and I got some soft food and... I wound up, you know, working until about 7 o'clock on Thursday. And then Friday, I woke up and Friday was like doomsday. Where I had to go to the dentist and get the teeth pulled. And it was like my anxiety was like high. Now, the other two visits to the dentist, like... They didn't, they didn't do anything that hurt me, you know what I mean? So I was like, I didn't have a problem, you know? Like the first mom was like, all right, well, let's look, let's take x-rays, all right, this is what we're gonna do. The second one was, okay, come in, we're gonna do impressions and we're gonna make you gag and like spit up all over yourself with this gunk we're gonna stick in your mouth. Fine. Friday? Oh, I knew. I was like, oh, no, no, no. They're going to be sticking needles in your mouth. They're going to jab you with that Novocaine. It's going to freaking hurt. And it's not like it hurt hurts. It's just like you feel that freaking needle like up in your gum. And you're like, ha, ah, like makes you teary eyed. And you're like, I ain't no wimp. I ain't no wimp. But damn, this hurts. So um, the dentist, though, he was like freaking awesome. Like I was telling him, I was like, look, um not a huge fan of the dentist when i was 14 i had a root canal done and i told the dentist that like i could feel him drilling and he didn't stop and i mean i had tears like not not you know like they stick you with the novocaine you know and like a little tear rose that like no like i was straight up crying and this a-hole did not stop and that that's kind of where like my F you to the dentist, like, began. I didn't have a problem with the dentist. I didn't have a problem with going to the dentist before then. But after that, dude, I was like, mm, I'm not going to the dentist unless I am in so much pain that, like, I want to take pliers and rip it out myself. And that's basically how it went for a very, very long time. And this dentist, like, he was so cool. Like, I guess he could tell because I was still, you know, like, my happy, upbeat, you know, self. But 
but he could tell like I was I was nervous and he just like he kind of sat there and he talked to me and he's, he's like I got this you know little trick that I do where when I put the Novocaine in and what he did was like he held my lip and he like he wiggled it and he like wiggled it for a little bit and then he stuck the needle in as he was wiggling now I mean I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh I felt nothing lie 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 like I still felt it but when it came to like the front of my mouth it was like I didn't have a tear go like running down my eye you know like running down my face from and every time I've had to get Novocaine like right in the front by the two front teeth oh my gosh that that one hurts the most and then you know they go underneath the roof of your mouth like oh yeah that one there was no secret trick to trying to wiggle anything to distract the nerve that one but what he did was he waned he did that spot the very last so that way he could um like the other parts would be numb or starting to go numb so it wouldn't be as bad the lies he told that hurt like a son of a freaking biscuit eater and i don't want to go through that ever ever again i don't think i'll have to but y you know like nope it's not gonna happen you can go take that needle somewhere else and he told me he was like um he was he's, he's like if you feel anything he's like let me know he's like i have a whole closet full of novocaine that we can use so like i said he was awesome so i'm sitting there <clears throat> and he's like he's like okay he's like he's like i'll be back you know in a little bit you know we just want to let this like novocaine kick in you know before we start blah blah blah, blah. and i'm like okay so i'm just sitting in the chair you know and i guess like the tech or whatever they're called like she comes in and she's like asking me different questions and she's like okay you know she's like we're gonna have to have you come back on monday you know just to make sure everything like it things are healing correctly blah 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 i'm like okay you know and i'm like you know i'm like can i get a card for that i'm like because i'm not like i'll, I'll remember that it's on monday i'm like i'm not gonna remember what time I need to be here. And she's like, sure. So she writes it down on a card and she hands me the card. Now I go to look for my wallet. I can't find my wallet anywhere. So I'm like, is it like on the ground? I'm asking her, I'm like, did it like fall on the ground and I'm not seeing it? Did I put it somewhere? And she's like, no, it's not in here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Because now I've already paid like for the dentist visit i did that the second appointment um so basically this appointment all i had to do was just go in there get the shit done and get the hell out so i'm like i still have to go to the pharmacist and get these like prescriptions i'm like if i don't have my wallet i'm like who's paying for these prescriptions so i'm like i'll be right back i'm like maybe i left it in the lobby so I go out in the lobby, I don't see it. I go up to the front desk people and I have a Golden Girls mask and it matches my wallet. So I'm showing them the mask and I'm like, did anybody happen to turn this in? And they were like, no, no. So I'm like, oh crap, right? So I run out to my car and I told them, I was like, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna run out to my car, see if my wallet's there. And they're like, you know, no, no problem, blah, 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 blah. So I go out to my car. I'm looking in my my uh, purse I don't see it now at this point I'm like oh my freaking god I'm like what what the hell am I gonna do I'm like because I need to get these prescriptions but obviously you know somebody took my wallet no nobody took my wallet so as I'm like I you know I'm like thinking this is just a bad freaking day like I'm I'm done this Friday can go bite me in the butt I knew I shouldn't have come to the dentist. Like I was telling myself, like, no, nah, you don't have to go. You can just leave things the way they are. And I, yeah. So here I'm like getting out of the car. And here I guess when I got out of my car, because my wallet is like a wristlet, 
and my keys, I have like a wristlet on it where it just hangs from my wrist. So I guess maybe my wallet wristlet wasn't on my wrist right and it literally dropped. So if this was like my seat, the driver's seat, it dropped in between the driver's seat and like the car door. So when I was getting out, I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, right? So I find it, I go back in and I'm like, I found it, I found it, right? So I'm like, okay, so I walk back to, you know, the exam room I'm supposed to be, like I'm, I'm walking in there now at this point, like I own the joint, like nah, you don't have to tell me, like I found my wallet, I'm just gonna see myself to where I need to be. So now when I first started looking for my wallet, like I felt like my lip was like, like everything was numb, like you could have punched me in the face and I would have laughed because I wasn't feeling anything. Yeah, well, I don't know if it was because like my adrenaline kicked in because I couldn't find my wallet, but I was like, um, yeah, no, like I, I can feel my lip now. I can feel my face. Like, I don't know if this is going to work. So I'm like sitting there, like trying to like calm myself down. And I'm like, okay, Naomi, like, you found your wallet. Just calm down. Calm down. Breathe. Right? So, I'm like, okay, you know, and the dentist finally, you know, he comes in a couple minutes later. And uh, I was telling him, I was like, I was like, you know, I'm like, I don't know if it's just, you know, I worked myself up and I made all, you know, like the, the Novocaine run through my blood and got my blood pumping. And he's, he's like, he's laughing at me at this point. He's probably like, this chick, like, what the hell is she on? And he was like, nah, he's like, that, that's okay. So he takes this, like, I don't know, some tool. And he's like tapping on my teeth. And I'm like, I don't, I don't feel anything until he got to this one tooth. And he's like, tap, tap, tap. No, it wasn't painful, but I could feel him tapping on that spot like tapping on that tooth so I told him I was like you know I'm like all the other ones I didn't feel I'm like but this one I'm like it wasn't painful I'm like but I definitely you know felt you tapping on it and he was like okay well we're just gonna give you more Novocaine and I'm like I like the way this doctor rolls or this dentist rolls like because I don't want to feel squat so he gives me more Novocaine and at this point, like I could have like pinched my nose and ripped it off and not felt it because everything was numb. So he does what he's gotta do and he gives me my prescription and tells me, you know, okay, this is what you need to do, blah, 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 blah. So, well, and before he even started pulling the teeth out, like he told me, he, he's like, I want to go call this script in. So that way, you know, by the time you're done here and you get to the, um, the pharmacy, your stuff will be ready. He's like, he's like, cause I want you to take, um, he was nice enough that he gave me, um, a pain pill, ibuprofen, like 800 milligrams and antibiotic and this like oral mouth rinse stuff. And I was shocked because a lot of dentists like do not give painkillers anymore when they pull teeth. So like when he said he was doing that, I was like, wow. I'm like, dentists don't really do that anymore. And he's like, well, he's like, this is considered, you know, extensive, blah, 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 blah. And I mean, not only me wrong, like he didn't give me, you know, like anything like majorly hardcore. He didn't give me a whole lot of them because I even told him, I was like, I'm like, really? I'm like, I really just need the pain pills for once the Novocaine wears off today and for tomorrow. I'm like, by Sunday, you know, I'll be fine with ibuprofen. I'm like, it's just that, you know, the day it's done and the next day that I'm like, um, you yeah, know, I, I, ibuprofen is not cutting it. So, yeah, so we did that. So I get done, you know, I get in my car and I drive to the Walgreens. Now I'm standing in line and I guess it's kind of like my fault, but at the same time, like I told them, you know, like the Walgreens that I was going to, cause it's literally like two lights up from the dentist's office. 
and then I just have to go and then from that Walgreens it's like less than half a mile to my house so I'm like look I can go out of here bing hit that up get and just get home so I go to that Walgreens I wait in line you know what I mean of course I wait in line for like 20 minutes I get up there for them to tell me that they don't have my prescription now, I'm trying to, like, talk to this guy at the pharmacy being like, no, 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 they called it in. And I guess as I was talking to him, like, just a whole bunch of, like, just blood came out of my mouth. Freaked the dude out. Like, I'm just like, oh, let me, you know, wipe this off my mouth, like, and let me just keep going. Like, just give me my medicine. Where's my medicine? Like, no, my dentist called it in. So I show him the piece of paper, and, you know, now after that all happened like he did go and get me like a napkin and stuff so I could wipe my face and um he was like yeah honey he's like you're at the wrong Walgreens he's like you need the one that's like up the road by the Walmart I'm like what what I'm like that's like a 10 minute drive up the freaking road so I'm like okay so I get in my car now at this point the Novocaine has not wore off yet but it's starting to so i'm like okay i'm like hopefully you know i can get to this walgreens and get this stuff before this novocaine wears off tell me why when i walk in there there is like a freaking line so a half an hour i wait in this line i get up there i'm at the right walgreens but at this point like i'm in so much pain and I'm like, I just want my freaking prescriptions. Like, just freaking give them to me. Let me give you my freaking money so I can go home and just die like a freaking baked potato. Like, I'm done. So, and the lady's asking me because they had my old address on file. And she's like, because she, she was like, you know, well, what's your address? Because I guess, you know, they had to, well, one, I had to give her my driver's license because the one was a pain pill, so she had a CID. And because I have my new address on my driver's license and they have my old address, she, she was like, I need you to verify the address we have on file. And I'm looking at her like, lady, if you make me freaking talk, I'm going to smack you upside your head. So you know what I did? I pulled out my old Florida, like my old license that had my old address on it and I showed it to her. And I'm like, I just moved a couple months ago. And she, she was fine with it because I was like, look, lady, I, I, don't, I don't think you understand. Like, call the dude at the Walgreens down the street and ask him what happens if you make me keep talking. I'm like, blood's just going to like, boom, come pouring out of my mouth. So I get all that. I get in the car. I take the pain pill. I take the ibuprofen. I take the antibiotic because that's what the dentist told me. He's like, you know, he's like, when you first started off. He's like, you don't usually take the pain pill and the ibuprofen together. He's like, but I'm going to have you do that just for the first day to help with the pain and to help with the swelling. So I'm like, okay. So yeah, by the time I got home, you know, none of that had kicked in. I was cursing everybody, you know, up and down, like telling them you know just get out of my way like I, at this point I just wish I had a little button that I could push that just made everybody else's car like just drop down on the road so I could just keep going and then you know after I went by their car would raise back up because don't, don't don't they know the road was built for me as far as I was concerned on Friday the roads are built just for me and everybody had to get out of my way so that was Friday. I basically, I came home and I more or less like, I slept a lot. Like I, I was up, but I would fall asleep. Then I'd wake up and I'd fall asleep. So then Saturday, I woke up and I was in pain. Like I was in freaking pain, hating my life, wondering if I made the right decision. I'm like, this was stupid. Why did you do this to yourself, Naomi? Like, you know, I, I, I was in pain. And I had a high 
tolerance for like physical pain. So when I say like I was in pain, I was in freaking pain. And I get a phone call, you know, my aunt can't find the keys to her car, you know, and, and she needs the spare keys that I have. And I'm thinking like, why is it that whenever like on the weekend, like I won't have anything to freaking do, you know, I don't have to be somewhere, but like, and it's not just the weekends, like it's. It just, it never seems to fail that, that like if I have something I have to do or like I just want to rest and relax and it's not just because I'm being a lazy potato, like it's like I need to rest and relax. That is when my family likes to call me and go, nay, nay, I can't find this, nay, nay, I need this. So I got my slap happy butt up, I drove over there, I got the key, and I drove my slap happy butt back home. And I was like, I was not really nice, so to say, like, cause I, I was in pain and I was irritated where I'm like, why can't people just leave me the hell alone? Because one, like when I'm in pain, I'm mean, like, and I know that, I know that about myself, like, I am freaking mean and rotten, like, down to the core, I will make you cry, because I want you to be as miserable as I am with the pain I'm in, I know it's not right, it's just how I roll, so I know, don't, don't be around people, and I try not to be around people, but people, I guess, just want me to be mean to them. So I literally, I, I got the keys out of the safe. I gave them to her, like, and I left. Like, I don't even think I said hi, bye, kiss my butt, like nothing. Because I knew, I was like, I'm going to be mean. Like, I'm just going to be mean. Like, let me just do what I need to do and get my behind back home. You know, before I say something mean. So, that's what I did. Um, yeah, and basically on Saturday, again, like, I was, I think I was awake a little bit more than what I was on Friday. But I, I slept a lot on Saturday, too. Um... I did finish um, the playing squirrels, the other diamond painting. Oh yeah, no, I forgot, my bad. So the diamond painting I'm working on is Lips of Morphine by Diamond Art Club. I believe it's a man by Mandy Manzano. I would have it linked down in the description box, but Diamond Art Club discontinued this kit uh, about a year or two ago. I've had this kit a long time. It was like the second painting I ever bought from Diamond Art Club. And it's been sitting in my stash. And I was like, I need to get this done. So I kitted this up on Saturday. I started working on it on Sunday. Like I'm loving it. It is a lot of color blocking. And I'm... I'm like a color blocking girl. I love the color block. I am not a fan of confetti. I can handle, you know, like a little bit of confetti. Like it does have like a little confetti here and there, but for the majority of it, it is straight up color blocking. And I'm like, yes, I'm here for it. Um, so yeah, and then I, um, so between working on this, like I rested and I slept, um, then around 9 o'clock at night on Sunday, I get a text from my property manager saying that, and I don't know if you remember, but you even brought it up last week. The people were supposed to come and get the stuff like the pine needles and stuff like that off of the um, roof on the back. 
and they were supposed to be here Wednesday and I left the gate open and they never showed up and you know when I texted her about it last Wednesday she was like oh I'm so sorry they told me they had an emergency and I totally forgot you know to let you know she's like you know she's like I'll let you know you know the next time they're coming so I'm like okay so she texts me Sunday night at 9 p.m. She was like, hey, you know, th they're going to be there tomorrow. You know, can you leave the gate open? So I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh, I'm not really in the mood to go out there and mess with this freaking gate because it is a pain in the butt. And I really, I don't have to have the freaking padlock on the gate thing because once I flip that like metal latch down on it it's it's not opening and good luck like even if you're, like you're on the inside you can't get that latch just to lift up it doesn't work that way like you gotta finagle and jimmy and get so I get up in the morning I do my thing I go downstairs I didn't even turn the computer on I went right outside to the backyard. I unlock it, all that good stuff. I go do it. Tell me why. Tell me why. Oh, I'm sorry. So, so, so that was Sunday. So Monday, I get up, I go to work. I have a dentist appointment at 9 a.m. for them, you know, to take a look inside my mouth to tell me everything is looking great, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're gonna have you come back next week, you know, but, and I'm thinking, how many damn times do you want me to come back? Like, I mean, I've already paid for it, so it's not costing me anything, but at the same time, I'm like, damn, like, does like the dentist like me or something like if so like you don't have to keep asking me to come back for an appointment like I'll get to my number he's a hottie like I, I you know, he's, he's not bad looking no no there's just a whole bunch of more steps and stupid bs that go on with this you know so basically I'm guessing like every week or I don't know like I just I have to keep going back for them to look and make sure everything fits properly and everything's healing good blah 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 so then I come back from work and I come back from the dentist and I go back to work and I get the payroll done and I go to the bank and I saw a girl one of the tellers that like and I freaking loved her she was at the very old bank that they shut down last April so like April or March they shut it down they closed that branch down and I saw her and she is like the nicest girl in the world so that's nice to know that she's working there I'm like I feel like I'm running into like all my old bank peeps and I'm like woohoo okay now if you could just transfer your little butt over to this bank that I normally go to because I, I guess they don't have staff or whatnot like I don't it's like the drive through is only open and the girl in the drive through like I, I love her she is awesome but I think on her days off that branch is closed all together. The lobby, the drive through everything. So, yeah. Um, where was I going? Where did that symbol go? Um, but yeah, so I saw her, and then when I came back from the bank, I started doing, like, the subcontractor's payment, and, like, and I was just, I was getting really annoyed because... Half the information, like, wasn't on there. It was like, okay, pay so-and-so to carry sheets, and it's from this builder with this job. But, like, he didn't put the unit number on there. You know, where if it was like, okay, it's this builder, and sometimes, like, he won't put the house number, but he'll put the street number. Like, no, this is a development we're doing. So he just put, you know, Kenwood well okay 
what what building what unit did they have to carry like I, I don't know if you remember but you just had me load four freaking different buildings that each have five units in them so how am I to know because I have to assign like per unit what gets spent where so when I do this profit and loss report every week like it should you know yeah so I'm like um I mean I could just pick it but doesn't mean it's gonna be right and it was like the same with the billing like he was like you know carry like you put you know like uh carry sheets uptown Kenwood but he he didn't put the amount that needed to be billed he didn't put the unit numbers on there and I'm like how am I supposed to build this like again I could pick whatever building or a lot number I want and hey, leave it up to me. I'm gonna make that price really, really high and uh, I'm gonna take my cut of having to do the work and think of the price and the builder ain't gonna be happy with my price. But yeah, so I, I was just, I was irritated and I think part of that was also, like I wasn't in as much pain as I was, you know, compared to like Friday and Saturday, but I was still in, you know, some pretty decent pain on Monday. And I think I was just, I was irritated. And like I said, like, I know, like when I'm in pain, I'm mean. And I have a very short, short tolerance for like just stupid, I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, it just, things that would not, like, I mean, yeah, they might irritate me, but I can let them go. Like, when I'm in that kind of, like, mood or mind space or, like, in pain, like, nope. Nope. Like, I will tell you you're a bumbling freaking idiot. Tell you where you can go. Draw you a map and point you in that direction. Like... I don't I don't care like I I don't I don't care if you're the Queen of England the freaking Pope the President of the United States like I don't care in that moment mm -mm. like n n not at all like I just I can't I can't do it and like I said and that's and it's I know that about myself and that is why when I am in like moods like that or I'm in pain like I know stay the hell away from people because I will say some mean freaking things and not give two flying fluffs if I hurt your feelings like and chances are like even when I'm not in pain if you're like you know did it or what why would you say that? Like, well, normally I'd be like, oh, you know, I'm sorry. Da, da, da. Like, no, I'll turn around to you and be like, well, you're the stupid freaking idiot that when I was in pain wanted to ask me stupid questions or do stupid stuff. Like, I'm I'm sorry. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm blunt and I will tell you you're a freaking idiot. Like, I don't, I don't care. Where I have my times where I'm, you know, I'll, I'll tell people that, but I can say it in a nicer way. Not, 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 not at this moment of time. So I've just been like distancing myself because, you know, I'm, I'm mean. I'm just, I'm mean. I'm, I'm doing a hell of a lot better now. I'm not in pain. It's just, it's like it's just a little sore. So I'm like, I can, I can handle this. So that was Monday. Oh, so then also Monday, so if you remember, I got a text at 9 o'clock at night on Sunday saying these people were showing up, you know, to do this job that they were supposed to do on Wednesday. You know, they they didn't show up again on, um, on Monday. And I text the property manager and I was like, I'm like, are they not coming again today? And she was like, she didn't say what the F, but she said WTF. She, she was like, they even called me 
late last night and said that they were coming. She was like, hold on, let me find out where they're at. So then she texts me back a couple minutes later and she, she, she was like, well, supposedly they're in your development, but there's no parking, you know, and they have this like, this, you know, big truck and blah, 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 blah. You know, and they can't find any parking and they need to get, you know, kind of like they don't have to be like right up close to the house, but they needed to be somewhat close to it. And I'm like, and at this point, it's like five o'clock at night. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I, I can tell you and you know, you're, you're not finding parking at that time. Not even the guest parking, the guest freaking parking is filled up. Like, because everybody's home from work. You need to come during the day when nobody's freaking there, right? So she was like, she was like, she was like, they're going to be coming, you know, tomorrow between 8.30 and 9.30. She's like, she's like, can you please, you know, leave the, uh, the back gate open? And I'm like, sure. And I'm kind of like beating around the bush and sugarcoating some of the stuff that like I said because I, I wasn't nice you know what I mean like the first time okay you know an emergency came up I'm not a total biatch you know what I mean like I get it okay you know what I mean but like the second day I'm out there fighting with this damn gate and you you want to come like around four thirty five o'clock thinking you're gonna find freaking parking here like no no, no, no. I might have called them, you know, a couple names. I might have been like, you know, look, like if they don't show up tomorrow, I will hang myself out my bedroom window and take a broom and push this crap off and you can just take whatever, you know, whatever I say off. Like, I, w I wasn't nice. Like, I wasn't a straight up feed or, but I wasn't nice. But like, she got it. Like, she got it. Like, at this point, like, I I'm annoyed. Like, how many times do I need to have my freaking back gate unlocked for just any Joe Schmo to come walking in that leads right into like the backyard leads right into my screen porch that goes right into my freaking house like no 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 like if, if they're not here tomorrow like dear lord baby Jesus like at this point Amy just you just give me their phone number and I'm just going to let you know that by the time I'm done speaking with them, they might do work for you again, but I guarantee you they ain't going to come to my house ever again. Yeah, so needless to say, they wound up coming. They did what they had to do. They blew the patches off. So when I moved in here, there was like holes in like the screen that they patched before I moved in. The guy blew those freaking patches off. So now I have like boxes and rocks up against there because when I took the picture and I sent it to Amy, she, she was like, oh, she's like, you can just go and get patch greens. Uh, no, 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 no. I will not go out and just get patch greens. Like, yeah, they're cheap. But my thing is like, no, 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 no. Somebody you hired did this like no 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 no. so she she was like she was like well you know the next time I'm down there is probably going to be within the next you know week or two she, she, she's like she's like I can just drop them off and I'm like okay that's that's fine again I will charge you for my time for putting these damn things on and you can take it off my rent like no no I don't I don't own this house I pay you $1,500 a freaking month to rent this. Like, you come out and freaking fix it. When I say, when I'm in pain, I am not nice. Like, I'm not nice. Now, I'm like, oh, she can drop them off. I'll do it. But, yeah, no, at, at the moment, no. No, I'm not. I'm not very nice. So, that was Monday. And then Monday night, my youngest son got into a car accident. He's, he's okay. He totaled the car. He was driving. And now he said that, you know, 
he had his foot all the way down to the floor and the car wouldn't stop. And he ran over this like water main pipe. And I mean like his car went like up and over it with the front wheels. There was like wires underneath his car that got caught. And when I say like this, so say this is the ground, like this water main, so like this is the ground, this water main pipe, like it sticks up from the ground. Like it's not like, oh, just this, but like, no, it's, it's like up there. Yeah, he went up and over it, broke the water main, flooded the freaking street. Like he, he's okay. He's got like, I'm thinking it's like, um, like a chemical burn from the airbag going off. Cause on this hand, it's like all, I don't know, like it kind of like almost looks like cuts and scrapes, but like he's like where it was like, blood, yeah. So I'm thinking it was like when the airbag went off. Cause he said, he, he was like, I smelt the airbag before I felt it. So I'm thinking it was probably like a chemical burn from the airbag. I think he might have like jammed his hand over on this side and he like whacked his knee pretty good into the dashboard. But he's, he's, he's okay. Gave me a damn heart attack. I'm like, why? I'm like, can kids just like not, not drive? Can I just like put him in a bubble and... You know, like, I'm thankful it wasn't as bad as it could be. Like, I am very, very thankful for that. But that is not, you know, like a phone call you want to get. You don't want to get that phone call. And But, yeah, he took off for of work on Tuesday. And he went back to work today. Today is Wednesday. And... He's kind of like, now obviously he's not, like, I mean, he's, he's like a little sore. So he's not, I mean, they're not taking it easy on him. Like, okay, you just sit in the truck and don't, don't do nothing. Like, no, like he still has to do stuff, but they're not expecting him like to go at a pace that he would normally go. So that's, that's good, I guess. Um, yeah. So, and that's basically more or less, you know, how my week was going. Nothing really too exciting to write home about. Like, I mean, something happened yesterday where I had to get up and drive to my aunt and uncle's house and knock on the door and let my uncle know about something that was happening, you know, up north because as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, that's, that's not going to fly. And if I don't say something and he found out that I even knew about it and I didn't say anything to him, like that's, that's my head and yeah, I'm, I'm good. Like I'd rather take the chance of going to the house, knocking on the door and getting yelled at. And yeah, I mean, like when I first told him what I had to tell him, he was not, he was not happy. And he was kind of like, what, what, why, why? Like yelling at me. And I'm like, yo, yo, I'm, I'm not up in Pennsylvania. Like I'm, I'm just the messenger because you didn't answer your phone and this is kind of an emergency and I was asked to drive here and let you know. So, yeah. So, but I got that taken care of. And then today, what did I do today? I worked. I got the, um, I'm pretty sure I got all the reports done for the accountant like I, I feel like I'm forgetting something like this one report I need to go over my checklist um before I email him everything and put it out in the mail then yeah I did have to run back to my aunt and uncles um to give him a report for one of the businesses up in Pennsylvania that got emailed to me that I had to print out and run to them. But yeah, that was pretty much, pretty much my week. So 
with that said guys I'm gonna hop on out of here. If you're new to the channel and you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time, guys.